What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. Uh, you might notice something a little different. We're working on my camera today. I've no more webcam for me. I got my video lens in the mail yesterday. Uh, so now everything's gonna the uh the uh reactions, the original content that's coming up, and the uh live streams will all be done off of the new camera. So Thank you guys for watching and supporting and helping me get to this. There have been a bunch of delays. I got the camera originally last year. I uh, didn't realize what all, you know, I needed to use it to stream with. Um, but a year later, we got here. So uh, now let's check out the last song on Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Only the good die young. Anytime I see a song with this title, whether it's a rock song, a folk song, a hip hop song, whatever, it is amazing. So I have extremely high expectations on this one. I hope I'm not let down. I really like that. I really like that.
ways to win seven holy paths to hell. <laughs> seven downward slopes, seven bloodied hopes, seven are your burning fires, seven your desires. I absolutely love that they had that at the end. Um because that was one of my favorite parts of Moonchild. It was the uh, opening like that. Uh, so I, I, oh. the instrumentals on this were phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. They brought in that guitar solo way earlier than I thought they were going to. My big thing on this was the vocals, though. I absolutely loved the lyrics and the vocals. Um, this album, dude way better than i imagined it was going to be way way better to get seven amazing no skip albums out of a band seven in a row you know in nonetheless that that is fucking incredible um so the next one is uh I don't even know what the next album is. Hold on. Uh, let's bring them up on Spotify. Go into albums. Gotta go all the way fucking down. Next there is No Prayer for the Dying. So we got that one up next. We start 90s Maiden. I don't know if uh, you guys are excited for it, but I sure am. So, uh, and uh, uh, we are going to do, because you guys definitely requested it and wanted to see it happen. Uh, we will, I will be recording myself when I listen to this album in its entirety front to back. Uh, so expect that in like two, three days, um, I'll, I'll probably sit down and listen to it in its entirety. I'll have the lyrics up as well. So, you know, we'll, we'll dissect it and everything together. Uh, but w by going song by song, every song was fantastic. I imagine I'll only enjoy it more when it's one cohesive story. Uh, Appreciate you guys guiding me through the maiden journey, uh, the maiden voyage, as some of you have been calling it. Uh, but yeah, man, can't wait for the next album. I'm actually excited for the 90s because I want to see what they did when grunge was popular. You know, they're like, they're going to be like, fuck that. We're going to, we're going to do the real shit. And, uh, I'm I'm interested. I haven't heard like any comments on what the uh the next singer's voice is like other than people like voicing their opinion on him. Uh so I I look forward to that. I I can't wait to actually hear what he's uh his voice is like. Um if I had to choose a favorite If I had to choose a favorite off this album, it would probably be The Clairvoyant, Moonchild, or Can I Play With Madness. I absolutely loved Can I Play With Madness. That was a jam. Those are my top three on the album. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, though, gets the honorable mention because of its guitar solo. Uh, but the other songs were amazing. You know, every song on this album was great. Uh, Seventh Son had one of the craziest guitar solos I've heard in a long time when it came to listening to new music. You know what I mean? Um, so big shout out to you guys for uh, requesting the songs and getting us there. Uh, you all have an amazing rest of your day. Big shout out to the Patreon supporters, TikTok viewers, and live stream viewers. You, uh, we'll catch you at the next one. Peace.